Before it was Adelaide, it was Tandanya, place of the red kangaroo. Now it's the name of an Aboriginal living arts centre hailed as the focal point for a renaissance of Aboriginal culture. Mike McEwen reports. The serpent uh, ties in with South Australia. It represents the uh, River Murray and also the creeks and back streams. And it also represents the rainbow serpent that represents our life for South Australia. And also the snake's tongue represents all the, the forks and the streams. Uh, and also the Tendanya means the place of the red kangaroo and the kangaroo near me are brother and sisters. The local Aboriginal uh, people have now turned to look at their own culture and their own heritage and their own roots and I think that's just sort of gradually starting to show its head. Uh, some from the river people that are starting to paint in a different manner uh, to the normal uh, bark paintings, to the normal uh, desert, uh, Western desert people paintings, and to, to take their own sort of paintings and present them. It's the Aboriginal Living Arts Centre nobody believed in. Governments, state and federal, ministers and advisers said it couldn't be done. Most, including former Federal Aboriginal Affairs Minister Clyde Holding, ironically later to become Federal Minister for the Arts, are now more than happy to have been proven wrong. Tandanya has exceeded all expectations, and after performances like this one, the Papunya Women Dancers at the recent Adelaide Festival, is now hailed as a focal point for a late 20th century cultural renaissance for the Aboriginal people. It is a national cultural uh, facility, and because of that international interest, it needs uh, some support from, uh, from tourism. And it needs further support in terms of understanding the role that Adelaide can play in terms of promoting the whole concept of Aboriginal cultural tourism. It means that Adelaide, um, along with Tandanya, also has a South Australian museum and is also literally the gateway to uh, the outback and to many of the other activities that may be accessible to Aboriginal culture. This current exhibition is typical of the high standards Tandanya has been setting a retrospective embracing the work of artists from one side of Australia to the other. A celebration of changing landscapes, developing forms, it's already regarded as an exhibition of international significance. But Tandanya is more than an art gallery. It's become a focal point for Aboriginal culture, a place where Aborigines are proud to come, not just for the cultural enrichment, and to share. It is an accessible faci facility where people will meet Aboriginal people, um, but uh, it is a welcoming um, opportunity, and it's a rewarding one if people are able to uh, walk over that bridge that has been built to uh, a cultural understanding. Uh, we have lots of interstate uh, visitors, Aboriginal people and uh, non-Aboriginal people coming through and they're very jealous of the concept of the setup in terms of that it happened in Adelaide and, and we keep telling them, look, Adelaide's the art capital of Australia so why should it be here? <laughs>